Welcome back. In this second video lesson, what I want to do is look at the wave model of light and specifically what we call the electromagnetic spectrum. And that, that's actually what you and I can see. That's different than what your dog or cat sees or what a spider sees. So we'll talk about the wave model of light and then we'll, we'll talk briefly about the additive theory of color mixing. So this brings light and art together, and that will be kind of fun to do as well. So here we go. Well, the electromagnetic spectrum, it's a big word there, arranges the different types of waves according to their wavelength. And some of these waves you've seen before or heard of anyway. And so let's look at it. Humans can't see most of the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. To be honest, we only see very few wavelengths uh, that are out there in Mother Nature. We can only see a very small part of the spectrum. And yeah, we'll talk about Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet a little bit later on. So here it is. This is a busy diagram, but we'll take a little look at it. This is called the electromagnetic spectrum. And it's interesting, when you look here, this is a visible spectrum or the electromagnetic spectrum. And this is a very narrow band of wavelengths that humans can see. Like I said before, we can't see very well. The longest wavelengths that we know of are radio waves. And yes, I'm talking about FM waves, uh, AM radio waves, that kind of thing. And those wavelengths are on the order of magnitude in terms of size of buildings or people. And yes, people have wavelengths, believe it or not. Uh, next, we have the microwave. So the microwaves are a bit longer than what we can see and a little less dangerous. If you're into photography, you've probably heard of infrared. This is what we use to develop black and white film the old fashioned way. And it's not dangerous to humans at all. And it is just outside of the visible range. When you look at the visible spectrum, like I said, we have Roy G. Biv. There's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, tough to make a B, and violet. Roy G. Biv. So that is the order of the electromagnetic spectrum or the rainbow, as you've seen it when you look up in, in the sky at a, a perfect time. Uh, on the higher energy side of what we can see, we have UV, which you've probably all heard of. The sun makes it. It's quite dangerous to us. That's ultraviolet light. And it actually does cause cancer if you get uh, a lot of it over your lifetime. We have x-rays for, for those of you that have broken bones or when you go to the dentist. Uh, yes, x-rays are very useful, but they are dangerous because they can actually cause genetic mutations. Little bits are okay. Uh, the highest energy waves we know of are alpha, beta, gamma, and those are the nuclear type rays, real dangerous stuff when you're talking about nuclear meltdowns of radioactive reactors. Um, you get a little bit of this when you fly in an airplane, to be honest, but not that much. But you can see as we move from the radio waves all the way to the gamma rays, that the wavelengths get smaller and the waves become more dangerous and more energetic. So that, my friends, is the electromagnetic spectrum uh, in a nutshell. Now, can we order these in order from shortest to longest? I hope you can. The shortest wavelength that we have in the list should be the X-ray because it's the most dangerous and, and close short waves are more dangerous. The next uh, shortest wave would be the ultraviolet or the UV light that the sun produces. That's right next door to what we see. So 
the visible spectrum is there, kind of in the middle. Next to that would be infrared or IR. Like I said before, this is how we make black and white photography. And finally, your FM and AM radio waves, star 104 would be the longest of all. And there is our picture again, just to show you that we're all right. Well, the additive color theory, very straightforward. You've probably heard that white light consists of all the other colors in the spectrum. Believe it or not, when you get a rainbow, the sunlight is actually breaking apart uh, when it hits the individual water droplets in the air. And that's what gives us our regibiv. The primary colors of light are red, green, and blue. And white light is made from those three colors, red, green, and blue. There it is. So primary color there, red, primary color there, green, primary color there. And of course, when you mix those together, we get white. So those are the primary additive colors of light. Next, we're going to take a little look at the secondary colors that you get from mixing the primary ones. The secondary colors, like I just said, are made by mixing two primary colors. So interestingly, if you mix red and green together, you get yellow. And if you mix blue and green together, you get cyan, which you might call turquoise. And finally, when you take blue and red and mix them together, you get good old magenta. Those are our secondary colors that we can get from mixing the primary colors. I hope this helped. It's a good look at the visible spectrum that people can see and a little bit of a, a look at additive color mixing. Uh, I'm going to have you try a gizmo lab on additive color mixing and we'll see if you can verify what you just learned.